Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, by special request of our members Discord, thanks to Cosmo Sapien for the suggestion, we will be looking at our top tips for printing and casting debossed, or in other words, engraved, lettering and designs. And another very special thank you to Frozen for sponsoring today's video. All of the printing in today's video was done on the Frozen Sonic Mini 8KS due to the high level level of detail that we can get off of the 8K panel. Now, let's get into this. When developing letters for your designs, there are a few simple rules that we have to follow. The first one being, if you can, simplify. We'll be putting together this client's logo on these thumb screws that they've ordered, but we will not be using the entire logo in order to assure a high success rate uh, simply due to the scale. Please bear in mind that there are limits to how far you can go with debossed lettering. Uh, a sub one millimeter design is just simply not feasible. So you may be able to get away with some kind of a maker's mark on your designs if you wanna go that far, but your printer and the resin have to be incredibly fine tuned for that kind of detail. When we add in the logo, we'll be trying to keep the recessed area only as deep as the logo is wide. This assures that later on, we'll not have to create an impossible depth for the investment to hold. Uh, at, at this instance, the width of the line is 0 0.3 millimeters, so I do not want to deboss, I don't want to extrude further into the design much lower than 0 0.3 millimeter. Whatever shape you are debossing into your design, you should be thinking of the negative space you're creating, and if it would make structural sense for the investment to actually hold that shape. This is also the same thinking you need to have when you're making a hollow structure, but that's an entirely separate video. Another thing to consider with your file is removing the hard edges from the recessed area. As anyone who has tried this before, uh, doing the printing and casting, can attest, the letters A, P, and R, for example, are very difficult because of those tiny little islands that are built up to create the letter. A hard 90 degree line corner can cause structural issues with your investment because it's so, so thin. And when you're talking at about a millimeter in size or so, uh, these issues are just compounded. So if you fill at your edges on your file, uh, this will help avoid those structural issues without muddying the letter. And this is also an added bonus. If the letters are shallow enough, you can get away without actually needing to have any supports during the printing because those tiny areas with the curved fillet edge are, so are self-supporting to some degree. Of course, this does depend on where those letters are on your file. You may still need to do them, but uh, if you're on the upper half of, say, a ring, then the ring is then self-supporting from that point on. Once you have your design, now comes the hard part, keeping it there. We recommend supporting your files in a manner that the debossed area is then self-supporting. Orienting your files at a 45 degree angle can help with this, as can orienting your print flat or parallel with the bed, if you're able to. I stress that if you're able to because sometimes going parallel with the bed is not the best choice and it creates too much surface area leading to you needing to have way more supports than are actually necessary so take that one with a with a des by design grain of salt if your deboss design is on a ring try and keep the design above the halfway point of the ring as after that point the ring closes back on itself and anything on the surface like stone settings uh, debossed designs are now facing slightly upwards and they will grow out from the model surface easier uh, and are again self-supported. Again, this won't be possible for every single design, but it's something to consider when you are doing designs. If you need to utilize supports uh, where there are many overhangs, using mini supports or fan supports, which are natively found in lychee slicer, can give the additional support needed without marking the surface too drastically. And of course, with the mini supports, you can make them incredibly fine and attach them to a parent, uh, a parent support so that you don't have to uh, have a, a forest, a veritable forest of supports holding on every single little piece. When you've got your models printed, uh, don't forget to thoroughly wash and cure. The last thing you want is to go through all this effort only to fill it in with excess resin in those little details. Agitating your model in alcohol will assist with getting all that thorough cleaning. You can also try a quick spray of uh, pressurized air or something like that to, to blow out those details. When it's time to mix your investment, we recommend going with a thicker mixture whenever possible. Uh, we've actually adopted recently a 36 to 100 ratio for Plasticast. Now, 36 is actually a lot lower than what the instructions call for, 
but uh, we can talk about this this aspect because I know it's very very important in an entirely different video uh, we've actually started working on it so make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss it uh, mixing at a 36 to 100 ratio will create a more rigid investment which is better for structural integrity this same recommendations applies to the hollow designs and other such things hopefully having bearing all that in mind you now have a perfectly cast deboss design now of course there's a lot that goes into this you need to make sure that your resin is appropriate you need to make sure that the investment is mixed properly uh, just down to the temperature of the water that you're mixing your investment with can have an effect on your casting later on. And of course, your choice of resin will have a huge effect on this as well. So I just want to thank again our Discord members for giving us this idea for today's content. If you want to help pick video topics, consider joining our YouTube membership program via the join button below this video. A special thank you to Frozen for sponsoring today's video and providing us with the Frozen Sonic Mini 8KS. This machine is now part of our rotation for tools. For client orders, uh, the detail that we can get off of this is phenomenal. The 22 micron screen has been absolutely fantastic and uh, the, the overall build quality has been great. So we continue to use this machine and we are looking forward to making more videos on it. If you're considering picking up one, uh, check out the link in the video description. So that's all for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.